They held a private Hindu prayer ceremony known as a Ganesh Puja at her mother's home, with close family members and their bridal party on Wednesday afternoon in Mumbai. Then on Thursday, Priyanka Chopra, 36, and Nick Jonas, 26, were seen arriving at the airport in the Indian city of Jodhpur, along with their security detail, with the actress holding onto her love's arm and flashing that diamond sparkler. The celebrity couple are due to exchange their wedding vows there in a lavish ceremony on Sunday, with Nick's brother Joe Jonas, 29, and his fiancée Sophie Turner, 22, also in attendance. The Quantico star and the musician were surrounded by security as they exited the terminal and headed to waiting cars. Priyanka wore a white cotton ensemble with gold stripes running vertically down the tunic and swirling in patterns on her long skirt. She carried a colorful dupatta as she stepped out in sandals and sported statement earrings partially hidden by her long raven hair. Nick was in western dress, pairing a brown leather jacket with a white t-shirt and beige nose along with bright white sneakers. Priyanka wore a white cotton ensemble with gold stripes running vertically down the tunic and swirling in patterns on her long skirt. She carried a colorful dupatta as she stepped out in sandals and sported statement earrings partially hidden by her long raven hair. Nick was in western dress pairing a brown leather jacket with a white t-shirt and beige nose along with bright white sneakers. But sadly, one person who won't be flying out is Priyanka's best friend, the Duchess of Sussex. According to a Nuss Weekly source, the Duchess will not be traveling to India due to her pregnancy. The pair have been friends since January 2016 when they met at the L Women in Television event and hit it off from there. Priyanka is unbelievable. Meghan told the Press Trust of India in July that same year. She has become a really good friend. Elle in the US hosted a dinner celebrating women in TV, and we met at night. Turns out she really likes suits. Priyanka's parents, father Ashok and mother Madhu, were both physicians in the Indian Army. Priyanka's father sadly passed away in 2013. The family is considered by many to be the most powerful family in the Hindi movie industry. Because of their jobs, Priyanka moved a lot while growing up, and attended several schools including La Mart near Girls School in Lucknow and Street, Maria Goretti College in Bareilly. When she was 13, though, they sent her to the U.S. to live with her aunt, who also moved quite a bit and sent her to school in Newton, Massachusetts, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and Queens, New York. She finally moved back to India for her senior year of high school at the Army Public School in Bareilly after being bullied in America. It was during her senior year that Priyanka won a local beauty pageant, and her mother entered her in the Feminine Miss India. She went on to win Feminine Miss India World, Miss World 2000 and Miss World Continental Queen of Beauty, Asia and Oceania at the Millennium Dome in 2000. It was after her pageant wins that she started getting Bollywood film offers which she spun into a lucrative Hollywood career. Meanwhile, Nick and Joe's eldest brother, Kevin, also arrived in India with his wife Danielle on Wednesday and has been traveling around with the happy couple. The couple's next pre-wedding ceremonies are expected to begin later on Thursday, according to India's NDTV. Jodhpur's Marangar Fort is reported to be the venue for the ceremonies and Sunday's wedding will be in the Umaid Bhawan Palace. The venue hire is thought to be $60,000 a night. Guests began arriving at the palace on Thursday afternoon and it's thought they will be staying there for the remainder of the week. The Umaid Bhawan is India's last living palace and comes complete with 65 original Art Deco bedrooms and suites. Each room costs an eye-watering $922, £721, per person per night. Priyanka and Nick's wedding venue comes complete with butler service strutting peacocks and a couple's massage room. The hotel includes the extravagant Maharani suite, which is expected to be where Priyanka and Nick will spend their wedding night. 72 hours before the A-list couple say I do, and hinting at a spectacular finale, countless boxes of fireworks driven in from neighboring Mumbai, were seen piled in a field. Meanwhile in the sprawling gardens, silver stage scenery was being constructed for the alfresco after-party indicating singer Nick will possibly take to the stage to serenade his bride with a musical performance. 
Palace employees were seen milling around the gardens as they prepared for the ceremony. The Indian wedding will reportedly follow a Christian ceremony which will also be held in India. Nick and Priyanka have been enjoying several days of parties and events. The Indian wedding will reportedly follow a Christian ceremony. A traditional Indian wedding typically involves about three days of activities, beginning with the Ganesh Puja which took place on Wednesday. The actress wore a light blue embroidered dress and matching pants as Nick sported a pink gurta, both by designer and couturier Manish Malhotra. Nick and Priyanka both wore bindas, colored dots on their foreheads that represent the third eye, as they waited outside Priyanka's parents' house for a ride to the airport after the ceremony. Later in the evening after the puja, Priyanka was seen arriving at the JW Marriott in Mumbai. She waved to well wishers as she entered the hotel wearing a plunging red silk crop top by House of May Saba with long sleeves and a matching pair of matching trousers. The raven-haired beauty accessorized with pointy toe nude pumps and a quilted black bag as she was escorted into the building. It was unclear if she was simply checking in for the night, or if she was there for additional wedding events that night. There is then the Mayhemdi ceremony, in which the bride and the female members of her family and friends get henna on their hands and feet. That is followed by the Sangeet in which the couple's families are introduced. A party in its own right, there is usually a meal, dancing, and performances, and every wedding guest is invited. Finally, there is the main ceremony, the cocktail hour, and the reception. The loved-up couple celebrated Thanksgiving with a lavish dinner in the actress' home country. Priyanka took to Instagram with a photo of her giant family enjoying their holiday dinner at an opulent and massive dining table in Delhi on Thursday. The couple got engaged after Nick proposed to Priyanka on her 36th birthday in London in July after just a few months of dating. The star proposed with a diamond ring from Tiffany's.